Good morning, Facebook. How are you guys doing? Hey, Len, Kevin, what's happening? Everyone else that's watching, how are you guys doing? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Let me know. For Hopefully, we have less technical difficulties today um, than we did yesterday. I guess this is day number, what day are we on? This is day 10, right? I think, day 10? Whatever day we're on. Day 10. We're on day 10. Um, and of 10 days, we've had one day of technical difficulties. I count that as being pretty lucky in, <laughs> in a time when uh, when we're all depending on technology to do these things and to uh, to talk with each other. Um, I know that the uh, a lot of the internet companies have actually been seeing, um, I mean, obviously a massive influx of, uh, of usage in the bandwidth or on their bandwidth. Um, and uh, yeah, so I know a lot of companies uh, have been having a difficult time with that. So uh, fortunately, these these lives seem to be still going well. I think you guys can still see me. I think you guys can still hear me. Let me know if you're there. Um, but otherwise, um, how are you guys doing? Just kind of quick touch base. Let me know. Uh, let me know what's up. Uh, let me know what you've been doing um, in these challenges. Would love to hear some uh, some some wins. I would love to hear some progress of what you've been working on or something you've been doing. Oh, I just realized. Oh, so on, I'm watching myself live, and it just started. So I just realized I'm about a minute and a half behind. So I'll just kind of wait for you guys to be there with me. Um, so today we're having a really cool conversation. Um, I actually shifted two of the days. Today was supposed to be about, uh, hey, so far so good, excellent. I'm not sure who this is. So if this was you... Um, you've got to, let me gr grab a link and paste it into the comments here for you. Um, if that was you, click the link that I just posted. It'll um, authorize you for Ecamm, which is what we use to broadcast these. It'll authorize it so that I can see who you are. Um, and that way I can say hello to you and address you by name. Um, so I switched around two of the days. Um, today was actually initially supposed to be uh, this whole um, marketing, this whole program that I have been thinking a lot about and trying to put some um, some some meat and potatoes to about how you as a photographer, if you're a wedding photographer, if you're a portrait photographer, um, just in general, you're a photographer, um, how you can diversify some of your income streams and offer a recurring um, sort of subscription option to some businesses or some commercial clients. And I've got a whole bunch of ideas around that. But I had an interview yesterday with Seishu um, about partnership marketing and some things that he's doing through this crisis to get involved in the community, to build some relationships, to work on his network. And after that conversation, I just thought that it probably would be a better one to come in front of that recurring revenue um, subscription model. So I don't know if you can... <laughs> I don't know if you can see my kids down there, um, but I, I feel like it's going to be one of those uh, one of those things from uh, my frozen. Am I frozen? I think I'm good here. Am I back? Am I back? I hope I'm back. I hope I'm just talking to myself here. Actually, I seem to be frozen here on my end too. We may be having technical difficulties again. What do you know? There we go. I think I think I'm good. I'm seeing me move over here, so I think we're okay. Let me know if you guys are there if you're still following. Although I know that you're about a minute behind me, so I guess I won't find out until later. Um, either way, this video will be uploaded to YouTube, so we will email you the link as well later if you happen to miss parts of this. Um, what I was trying to say. Um, yeah, it keeps being interrupted. I think there's something going on with the internet here locally in Niagara. Uh, I know a couple of our team members who are in different internet um, providers have had issues as well this morning. So um, hope you guys uh, hope you guys are are good and okay there. Um, so yeah, so I, I had this conversation with Seishu about networking, about local marketing, about partnership marketing. And after I had the conversation yesterday and I recorded this interview, I thought that it would probably be a better interview to put or a better discussion to put in front of that recurring model that I want to teach you guys. And so I'm going to do the recurring model tomorrow and do the partnership marketing one today. So what I actually want to do is transition over to that interview that I had with Seishu. Um, it's about 20 minutes. We're going to talk a lot about 
partnership marketing, local marketing, how to get involved in the community, how to build your network, how to build relationships with folks that you may not have otherwise had relationships with. And I hope that you, you know, you're going to take a lot from that conversation, but it's also going to basically lead us into the conversation that we're going to have tomorrow. So um, let's transition over to that, and then I'll come back and we can chat at the end of this. And we are now recording. Okay, so Seishu, tell me about this new marketing slash partnership collaborative that you've launched and, and sort of what your hopes are with it. Well, honestly, uh, it's not anything um, specific to any one particular group. Although the way things worked out is that I followed the lead of somebody locally who said all the restaurants are going to start seeing a serious, um, you know, decline in number of uh, clients. Mm -hmm. And she took, she, I mean, the, her name is Lenny uh, Cavers de Gras, and she's a, a local community leader, phenomenally connect, well connected with everybody here. And, you know, I've, I've known her for many, many, uh, year, a couple of years now, I would say, you know, where she ran for a local office and, you know, sat down with me, you know, you know how, politicians sometimes will just send you something in the mail and say vote for me she didn't do that she, right. she said hey come and talk to me let's talk about local businesses because that's what you are you're your local your local business uh so i i remember that conversation really vividly and i knew even back then that how extremely um important it was for her to have successful businesses in a community because right. once you once those local businesses start to disappear well you know what's going to happen next mm -hmm. you know so uh we don't want to go there you know we we want to protect obviously what's happening here support and bolster local businesses as much as we can so i took her lead and said hey listen okay well she's able to do this where she's able to bring people and say let's let's all go out and do takeout uh dinners and lunches and breakfasts and things like that uh, all the local restaurants, bakeries, uh, even, you know, a brewery is involved as well, uh, although probably not for breakfast. Um, uh, it, it comes down to saying, OK, what is it that they're doing and how can photographers help in, in, in some way? And I had to I have to I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm looking way ahead of my own business and saying, uh, what am I going to be doing? you know, three months, six months down, yep. who's, who are going to, who are my clients going to be? So I, I, I was listening to, do you know, Steve Saperino? Oh right? yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this idea honestly came from Steve cool. and his conversation with another photographer who's in Virginia. And she mentioned to, to Steve, listen, I'm doing this with local businesses. You know, this, this idea of offering them a, um, an opportunity to work with me, uh, but, you know, for clients who are going to be helping these businesses to come and help me out way down the road. Right. So taking that idea, I said, listen, let's do this with the restaurants. So anybody who who buys two hundred fifty dollars worth of food for the next month uh, sends me or uploads to me their receipts that equals two hundred fifty dollars or more. Uh, I'm actually turning around and giving them a five hundred dollar gift certificate to be used when it's totally OK to you know, to meet and connect and be together. And when the social distancing thing is completely gone. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm actually giving them an opportunity to work with me. But right now the focus is help the restaurants, help yeah. the restaurant owners, help the restaurant workers. Because they're shutting down. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. You know, and that's, this town has, so many, I'm, I'm realizing I haven't been to, more than half the restaurants that I'm, I'm starting to see come up on my list. I'm mm -hmm. like, wow, I got to go and check these places out. Uh, and uh, the stories from everybody on the in the groups that I'm part of is like the food is amazing. Everyone's doing everything they can to prepare the food uh, in, a, in a safe way. Um, you know, everything is every, nothing is dining in. Everybody's take out, you know, pick up by the curbside, all of the good stuff, you know. So it is – it's amazing to see the community come together and say, let's do this. Yeah. And it's thanks to Lenny, to be honest with you, who sort of took it off and took off with it and, and did something with it, you yeah. know? So I have to thank her for this idea. So I just, I'm, I'm just totally piggybacking. No, I, and, I love it. And I think, yeah. I think the thing that, that 
if I can turn to talk to everyone watching right now, what, what I would want to say or what I want, I hope that they can glean from this is the idea that yes, right now it's important for us to be thinking about our business health and where we go from here and all that. Yes, I get it. That's obviously what we've been teaching and what we've been trying to help photographers see, but also, there is a component of the human, the human component of all this, right? There's the, there's the community component of this. There is the giving back and the charitable component of it. And so if there's some way that we can give back to our community, I mean, us as photographers, we are all community-focused people because typically most of us are dealing with clients who are local. So the more Absolutely. that we can help out our community, the more that we can get involved in our community, it allows us to genuinely help out in, in a way that is like true human humankind, you know, be, being kind right. to humans um, and other businesses, but also it, it gives us an opportunity to maybe have conversations that we wouldn't have otherwise had. You can all of a sudden now collaborate or create a partnership or create a network or create a relationship with somebody that you may not have had already. And, and now you as a, as a person in the community get to now also explore and get out there and see and, and, and sort of become a, become a part of the community in, in a way that you may otherwise not have been able to. So I think that, I mean, there's so many side benefits and so many reasons why I think that this works really well. And, and the thing that I want to maybe encourage everyone watching to think about, so Seishu is doing this through the through the restaurant. I mean, so his idea is is through the restaurant thing, right? So hey, he I know and then say you've sent me the link to it, but you basically have a, a web page, a, a blog post if you want to call it whatever. Um and it's it's a landing page. It's, it's a, a landing, landing page. page. Yeah. And it's basically like, hey, yeah. you know, and, and it's it's written to folks in the community and it says, hey, if you spend two hundred and fifty dollars at any restaurant locally or or a combination of the restaurants locally, upload your receipts just to prove to me that you've done that. I'm going to yep. give you $500 towards portraits. You can use it for sessions. You can use it for prints. You can use it for whatever. It's just my way of trying to reward you for supporting our local community. And, 100%. And you basically, I would assume then you're sending that out. You're sharing it with the restaurants. You're reaching out. You could do all kinds of different things to get it out there. But for, right. for everyone watching locally, maybe restaurants, maybe you're in an area where restaurants aren't popular. I don't know. Maybe you want to choose to support the local farmers or the local... Uh, the local fruit growers, if that's where you are, or maybe you're in, uh, you know, so go support the wineries or go support the hospitality industry. And so, I mean, again, everyone can take what they want from this, but the idea is that you're getting involved locally and creating yeah. a partnership that would then give back, but also open doors in the future. Uh, I see just like that. I mean, the fact is there are other options and opportunities out there. Um, as, as again, Steve uh, taught me way, way back to, you know, many years ago when I went to his workshop, he said opportunities are everywhere. Mm -hmm. You just have to be open to it. Your mindset has to be such that you know that you're out there to help somebody mm -hmm. and transform them in some way. That's all you need to really, that's how you need to lead with. Everything else comes together later. Don't worry about it. Uh, so I keep going back to what he said and, and what he keeps saying. Even now he teaches yeah. that very thing. Yeah. I, I think it's important to understand that uh, if you are a business in a community, small or large, it doesn't matter. You are part of that community. You are responsible in some way to being a solution provider for that community. That's how I approach it. And I, I could be sitting here just totally fretting about the fact that all my uh, sessions have canceled. Right. I mean, that's what's happened. Yeah. That's no, you know, I we that's a, that's our. Uh, our mutual reality yes, in a way, yes. right? Uh, and it, it, yes, there's a part of me that is freaking out. I'll be honest with you. I'm like, what am I going to do? You know, what am I going to the uh, the outside of me? Uh, get up and act. Do something that you can actually do for your community and find connections. I've always been good about this. I think where I find people who have a mutual idea or a mutual goal. And I say, Hey, you guys should talk together. I, I that's what I want to do. That's what I can do right now. Yeah. You know, sitting on a computer, that's the best I can do. Yeah. I can't go out, not allowed to, uh, not advised to mm -hmm. stay home, yeah. but find ways of saying, Hey, listen, uh, you know, you two need to talk to each other about your mutual business and connect, be the connector. Find ways of helping people uh, in other ways than photography. I mean, honestly, you, you know, when you come out of this, you're going to be recognized as a leader for somebody who sits there and does all of this calmly and mm -hmm. being able to do this, you know, with a rational mind and says, let's let's all work together. 
versus somebody who's just a spaz, you know, just, you know, it was just freaking out. And right. so there, there, there are opportunities to help find yeah. your way to help. You know, that's all I got to say. I know. And I think that's fantastic. And I've seen so many ways that are just so, uh, it almost lifts our, lifts my spirits, um, for humankind and just seeing how many people yeah. have, have showed up for each other, um, through this and how many companies are stepping up to help out each other. And yes, there is the reality that we're all in this position of lost revenue, of lost business, of deferred revenue, of crisis management, like we don't know what to do. And, and there is that reality, like you said, there is the reality of, you know, becoming a little bit worried about some of those things. But worry never solves itself when you just sit and let, exactly. it, let it fester. And right, right. Um, just I want to throw another idea out there because I've seen a couple of this also happen. I think in in the vein of this partnership marketing concept um, and community involvement, I've seen this done with photographers where photographers are basically putting the word out there to say, hey, if you're a small business owner, if you're an online business owner, if you have products, if you have food, if you have widgets, if you have anything that you need photographed, send it to me. I will photograph it for free. I'm sitting at home anyways. <laughs> send it to mm -hmm. me. I will photograph yep. it for you and send you the pictures. So if you need some way to get the word out because maybe you haven't done online advertising or you haven't done online marketing before, mm -hmm. you need pictures. And if you need pictures, I take pictures. I'll do it for free. It's my way of giving back. Another example of, of what you're talking about where it's like 100%. creating partnerships, finding ways that we as photographers can get involved and give back. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you do what you can. I mean, uh, uh, the other thing I've been doing, uh, like you've been doing as well, is talking to photographers and, and getting them on board uh, uh, an interview. You yeah. know, get, talk, figure out mutual things that, you know, excite you. Mm -hmm. You know, there are projects that are still sort of have been ongoing that people have been working on. Talk about that. You know, figure out it's, it's, you're not sort of, living in denial by doing that but but the fact is uh, those projects will continue on after this this major pandemic event mm -hmm. and we want to support their their work so find ways to step up and say hey listen let's talk about your work or um you know uh, bringing it back more on the local side on, the, on you know find uh, local business owners who don't have uh you know a great online presence mm -hmm and see whether you could help out you know you've got some skills True. in putting websites together mm -hmm. start start putting websites together yeah. you know it's not you know just simple websites it doesn't have to be complicated mm -hmm. but it gives them an opportunity to be at least online when you know they may have thought oh i don't need to be online and you know, all these time all this time mm -hmm. now suddenly you got to be online because that's how people are going to find you yeah. you know so you can i mean I, I you can easily start a uh, you know, if you talk to Corey Potter, he'll huh. probably say WordPress. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't go to other other, other platforms. But I, I I believe whatever comes easiest for yeah, you, for figure sure. it out. Yeah. You know, just jump jump in, help somebody out, and say, listen, I I got I got all day. Let me put uh, a website together for you yeah. and show you what I can do. Yeah. You know, it could be it could be just a page and say, this is how we're going to get started. The rest of it will be you know whenever we are able to work on it more or whatever, yeah. you know, and that, and at that time, if you're able to pay me, then pay me for this, for this work, mm -hmm. you know, at least you get in, uh, your foot in the door with all these businesses that are just sitting around and not being able to do anything. You just say, Hey, let me help you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, so, it's, it's so funny. Cause, um, it goes back, say, I don't know if you've read the book, um, love is the killer app by Tim Sanders. Um, but it is one of the best books I don't know if you did. I freeze for a second there because you froze for me. You bet. Okay, <laughs> for a little bit. Yes. <laughs> so there's a book I, that I said um, it's one of my favorite books all time. It's called Love Is the Killer App by Tim Sanders. Yeah. And yep. I mean, I remember reading this book. I don't know what 15 years ago, 16 years ago, and time, it's, yep. and it's really like the whole principle behind that book. And again, if you're watching and you haven't read that book. Go read it or find the audio book or even just find – I mean Tim Sanders is all over the place on YouTube, so go find him talking about it. But it's this idea of like being a connector, being someone that is there to help out, offer offer guidance, offer help, offer assistance in any way. And yeah, I mean we as photographers have a skill set that we probably take for granted. Even just – I've seen some photographers that are saying, hey – 
other business owners, yoga studios, gyms, personal trainers, chiropractors, anything, you've now had to shift your entire business model to being online. If you need a hand in like understanding how a webcam works or like a better lighting situation so that you don't look like you're sitting in a cave, let me yeah. know. I'm happy to help. I'm happy to give back. I'm happy to be there for right. you through these hard times. And I think those that show up, those that are helping, and those that are really putting themselves out there in the service of others through these difficult times are going to find themselves in a much more a fulfilled state beyond this because we're genuinely giving yep. back. But you're going to yep. find yourself long-term in a much better position because you've taken the stance of showing up in service of others being instead of trying to be selfish and just worrying about yourself. There's one more thing that I, I personally have found uh, helps me with my anxiety mm -hmm. is that if you act on something, if you put something together and just start doing it, mm -hmm. that anxiety starts to subside yeah. considerably. Yeah. I mean, that's just a, a, an observation that I've had of my own, uh, of my own brain, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, when, when I'm actually saying, okay, listen, now, uh, for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to work on putting this, uh, you know, this, this interview together mm -hmm. or, I'm going to just reach out and, uh, you know, try and find four businesses that I could just talk to, you know, or something to that effect. Whew, I feel yeah. so much better, yeah. you know, and then when it starts creeping up again, I guess I just have to go out and do that again. Yeah. It takes zero money yeah. to do it. You know, uh, we're all being careful with our expenses at this time, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So do things that are, that are possible to do when you back when you you, you were so-called busy, you know, couldn't do it. You yeah. know, you now you can't, you know. So find ways of br creating bridges with businesses and individuals and, you know, organizations and just reaching out. Go to LinkedIn, you know, and talk to people on LinkedIn too. A lot of people are just staying on Facebook or Instagram. True, yeah. I feel like I feel like if you're a business owner, you really need mm. to be looking at LinkedIn because uh, that's where a lot of the great – Phenomenal connections are being made right now. So get out there and, and just listen to conversations, comment, and make suggestions, ask questions, you know, get in front of people so that, again, two months, three months, six months from now, they're not, you're not some random person who says, hey, listen, I've got a business I want to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. You've already had a connection and a relationship built. So this is a great time to build relationships, honestly. Totally. Yeah, I love so, it. I love it. Seishu, thank you so much for, for coming on to, to share some of this. Absolutely. Yeah, this has yeah, been great. Yeah, always a pleasure talking to you. And listen, I wanted to, to thank you for what you're doing. And you know, honestly, you, consistently, you've been helping people, helping photographers. And your so-called 14-day challenge, challenge has now become 23-day <laughs> challenge, I heard. Oops. So, yeah, it could, it could go the whole month. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for yeah. doing that. Because every time I log in and I... I'm like furiously taking notes uh, and your notes after the fact are super helpful because there's things that I just completely miss. And I'm like, what did he say? What did he say? And it's all there in the, in the notes. So thanks to you for putting it all together. I know that's all additional work for you and your team. And, uh, you know, honestly, you've got the great attitude, man. You know, being bringing people together, uh, making it about a community of photographers. Uh, props to you. So thanks for doing that. Oh, Thank you. I really appreciate that. Sure. Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I'm sorry that we had some issues there. Um, I think that we're okay now, broadband-wise. Uh, I don't know if it was on Facebook's side, if it was on my side. My internet seems to be okay. I've turned off all syncing on my computer, but still, for whatever reason, the broadcast seemed to, ha to have some interruptions. Uh, so I apologize for that. I said a few times during it in the comments, because uh, I was able to comment on my phone while I was watching, um, the uninterrupted version of this will be uploaded to YouTube uh, as soon as we finish recording this right now, as soon as we finish broadcasting. Um, so if you want to go back and watch that, if you missed anything or if you couldn't quite understand uh, what was happening, then you will uh, be able to do that at the end of this. We'll give you a link. Um, so the reason I mentioned it before and I'll mention it again, uh, the reason that we kind of switched things around, I was initially going to do today's lesson was going to be about running these recurring um, service offerings to your to your um, commercial clients. So uh, sort of a whole new revenue stream that you can start putting together some plans for. Um, is it still not working? Someone's saying still not working. 
I don't know if it's still not working. Um, no, it interrupted again. I don't know what's going on here. Um, regardless, I'm going to keep going because this recorded version will be up on YouTube, so I don't want to keep interrupting the YouTube version of this. <laughs> um, so the idea that, um, that I have and that I'm going to walk you through tomorrow is how you can create a whole new sort of product category for um, for businesses, um, and this would be a recurring revenue model uh, sort of structure for that. Uh, really good opportunity. Now is a great time to be putting some plans in play for that. But as I was planning that out, and then after the conversation with Seishu yesterday, I just thought that that conversation made a lot more sense to come before the one about recurring model because that conversation was issue a bit that you just listened to or that you watched about partnership marketing, about creating relationships, about, you know, building those networks, about getting out there and giving back to the community. That stuff is kind of all before you can go and kick off a recurring revenue model for businesses. So I wanted you to watch that and put some thought into how you can get involved locally with that. And then tomorrow we'll get into that one. So I hope that you enjoyed that conversation. I'm going to wrap this up right now because obviously internet's not going great right now. And so there's not really much dialogue happening between you and I, unfortunately. Unfortunately, um, but I hope you enjoyed that conversation, and I hope that it will give you some ideas as to how you can get involved locally in your community, how you can give back, how you can use the skill set that you have as a photographer, as an entrepreneur, as a creative person to perhaps help out other businesses that are there locally um, to you. And 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 hopefully you can see um, how that makes sense in in so many different ways. Obviously, there is the component of feeling good about giving back and spending some of your time and your talent and your skill set to help out other people as well. That always feels good to give back and to get involved. Um, but certainly also there is the, there is the, the, the benefit of being able to build these relationships and it gives you an opportunity to, um, to give back and to build relationships and to, to make connections that you may have otherwise not have been able to, um, to make. Um, so Eric, I know you're saying that yeah, we're going to need to have it uploaded. Yeah, absolutely. So again, like I've said, these are all uploaded afterwards. So we're going to, we're going to email you guys the link to the YouTube version of this, which will be uninterrupted because it's saving locally as I'm streaming to you guys here. So, uh, the YouTube version that you'll get uh, shortly will be uninterrupted. Um, Anyways, I'm going to wrap that up there now, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the conversation. I hope that you're staying safe. I hope that you're continuing to stay healthy. And uh, we will see you tomorrow when hopefully we have no internet connections tomorrow. Okay, bye for now and see you guys then.